Hello, I'm Henry. I'm one of the co-founders of Reclaim. And today I'm going to show you a feature that we are pretty excited to introduce to you. I think we may be one of the only products or maybe the only product in this space that allows you now to uh, delegate access to your account to another person. So uh, when we first started Reclaim, we thought, you know, who's going to use this if they, uh, if they have already have an executive assistant? Uh, but of course, you learn a lot from your users, and it turns out there are a lot of people who want to use Reclaim, even though they have an assistant who's helping them to manage their calendar already. And so what we've built now is a feature that allows you to give access to anyone on your team or multiple people on your team, and they can become you, and they can do things in your Reclaim account. They can create tasks. They can uh, you know, add meetings, they can make changes to your planner, they can do all sorts of things that you can do as a user, minus a couple of things like delete your account or provision API keys or uh, add or remove accounts, like things that might break your whole account and they don't want them to do. So uh, to get started, it's actually quite easy to do. Uh, you can go here to your profile section or you can click on this guy. You can see I've already got delegated access for my co-founder set up here. And I'm going to go to my profile section. This is available for anyone who's on a business plan or an enterprise plan. And you can do this for anyone who's on your team. Um, so I've already added uh, Patrick here, who's my co-founder. He can now access my account. But then also, um, I can delegate access to another person. So I'm going to go ahead and delegate access to this person named Henry Tu. This is my evil brother, Henry. Uh, just kidding. Uh, and now Henry Two at Reclaim Staging can access my account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little switcheroo. Cool, so I'm now in uh, that other account that I just delegated access to. And I'm gonna go to this little dropdown and you can see it's a little confusing because it's two people named Henry Shapiro. Uh, but this is that other account that I now have access to. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and Reclaim is gonna reload. And now it's telling me that I'm using Reclaim via someone else's account. You can see I've got access, well, everything changed, right? My planner changed, my tasks and everything changed. And I can do things in this account um, the same way as if I were this other user, right? I can go in and create new tasks. So if I wanna go in and say, you know, hey, Henry, time to do the dishes. And I add this in, it's gonna get created in that other person's account. I can add time to tasks, I can reschedule tasks, I can add habits. I mean, really anything that you do in a reclaim account. The few things that you can't do and I'll show you here, uh, I cannot go in, for example, and delete Henry's account. Uh, you can see, you cannot do this. Uh, I can't do things like add or remove uh, Google accounts. So if I wanted to change which calendars are connected, I have a little thing that tells me like, hey, you can't change that, buddy. Um, I can add syncs, but only from existing calendars, right? So I'm not gonna have access to the kinds of things that we don't really want someone in your account taking, uh, taking ownership of. Uh, and then once I'm done playing around in Henry's account, I'm gonna go ahead and click this thing. You can also click here to exit delegation and I'm back in my own account. And it's really that easy. You don't need to switch Chrome profiles or browsers. You don't have to like log in with someone else's credentials. What we're basically doing here is just saying, hey, Henry provided access to this other Henry's account and, uh, and now he's gonna go ahead and, uh, and use it as if he's them and exit when he's done. Um, so we're really excited to bring this to you. Not only is this great for people with executive assistants, it's also great if you've got teams that you're working with or people where you maybe share a task list or you share certain types of information and you want to be able to schedule things on one another's calendars, um, or if you just want to be able to manage someone else's account, even if you're not their assistant. Um, so a lot of really cool things that we're excited for you to be able to use here, and uh, we're excited to share it with you. Thanks so much.